All right, you want to roll for who goes first, then? Yeah, sure. I'll fall off. Hold on. It was a six, but you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> oh, I believe you. Five. Five. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm going to roll right now. Grab my lucky dog dice. Five. Oh, all right. Let's try again. Five? Oh, my God. Dude. Oh, oh, hold on, I'm gonna switch up my dice. I'm using my metal That's, dice. The lucky dice. Yeah, dude, you gotta use- uh, It's not fair, I'm using my lucky dice. My dog, like, chewed this thing up, but he didn't swallow it, so that's why we used to call this lucky dice. There you go. Four? You got a four? Four. Okay. <laughs> One. <laughs> you go first. It was an epic battle. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Uh, yeah, I got, I got, I'll start. <laughs> oh, uh, when it's ones, right? So we'd... I have to mulligan. Cool. Actually, if you're gonna mulligan, I'm gonna mulligan. Okay. Yeah, I have one land. Yeah. And I keep forgetting I don't draw in ones if I'm the first one. Oh yeah, technically. I always screw that up. I mean, when we start hosting tournaments at the different game stores, we might have to switch up the rules a little bit. I think we're just gonna play like regular commander rules, but in one v one situation. Okay. Because I do know there's specific one v one commander. Yeah, that's probably a good reason why. I just don't really even care. I just would yeah. like the idea of like playing just normal, regular. AKA, like, I heard in 1v1, there's no commander damage. Uh, is that true? I think. I, was, I, I think somebody said that to me. I was like, really? Like, why are you even playing commander then? Yeah, you're just playing 100 card modern. Bro, or like, legacy. Yeah, right? Because <laughs> so, I was thinking, like, I wish Brawl had commander damage. Mm. I feel like that would totally change the way Brawl plays. Right, I'm good with this. Cool. I'll just start with a command tower and pass. I'll draw. Play a swamp and pass. Cool. Draw. Islands. Pass. Okay. Draw. Play a swamp. I'll tap two. Dog is barking. I'm gonna play a claw ritual. Ooh, nice. Generate three mana and use that three mana to play Nashi. Cool. And then I will pass. On your end step, I'm gonna swords Nashi. Dash, he is sourced. What do I get out of that? Uh, life, life equal to its power. And three life. You can go. Cool. Oh. My mana luck has run out. I pass. <laughs> oh. It's my favorite thing I've ever heard. Um, I'm gonna play Akinuma. Cool. And uh, you have a command tower over there? Yeah. I'm going to a Let's see. This matter three mana. Let's just call that mana. Um, I'm gonna pay three and I'm gonna play a tallyman of Nurgle. So, um, when this enters if, at the beginning of my step, if a creature died this turn, I draw a card and lose life. And if seven creatures die, then I draw seven cards and lose seven life. You can go. Oh. Okay. Pay two, play a favorable wins. Creatures are flying at control, get plus one, plus one. Oh, uh, pass. <laughs> Gonna draw, play a swamp. Um, seems like the wins are being favorable for me here. Did you get to play a land that turn? No, I, I kept the two land hands. Oh, I'm just like. Sometimes you draw, it, it works out. Um, 
So what I'm gonna do is pay uh, two. Yeah, I'll play a Lithoform Blight onto your uh, man tower. Oh, okay. So you can pay. You can tap it to pay one life to add a mana of any color if you want. Or right now, it just adds colorless. Okay. When he enters the battle for them to draw a card. Cool. And then I'll use the other two to play a Netherborn Altar. Um, I can just tap this to take my commander and put it into my hand. Ooh, that's good. And I'll keep that like that. And uh, I'll just go to combat. I'll attack you for two lifelink. Cool. I'll take the two. And then I'll pass. Okay. Draw. Tap for a colorless, colorless, playing Azorius Signet. Is that your life? What's up? Is that your life? Is that your turn? Yeah, that's all I can do. Pass. I will untap. Draw. I'll play the swamp. And, um. I think what I can do here is pay um, I can pay um, this, tap this, lose three life using this. This is going to get a soul counter, so I lose three life for every soul counter this has. Um, then you lose six. Yeah. So, next time it'll get two, I'll lose six life. But this will go to my hand, and then I'll go to combat, I'll attack with the tally made of Nurgle. Okay. No responses. Again. No responses. Alright, I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, and I'm going to ninjutsu Nashi. Okay, so I'll take three and three commander. Yep, and then um, we both reveal exile the top card of our library. Okay. Oop. Exiled a blood clock. It is Watcher of the Spheres. Creatures with flying cost one colorless less. Whenever a creature with flying enters the battlefield under your control, he gets a 1 1. Okay. Set uh, in the turn. I'm gonna choose to pay four life. And I'm going to cast the Blood Clock. So, Blood Clock says, um, at the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player returns a permanent he or she controls to its owner's hand unless they pay two life. Ooh. So I'm going to put that into play, and then I'll pass a turn after that Blood Clock trigger. Okay. Does Watcher go into my graveyard, or...? Exiled. Exiled? Oh. Oh, land. So do you pay two life or do you return to me in your hand? Isn't it just creatures or return permanent? a permanent? Ooh. I'll return favorable wins. Okay. I I think I'm gonna just pay one white and colorless. I'm gonna disenchant the blood clock. Was that on my upkeep or my draw step I have to sacrifice? Or um, bounce? Upkeep. Okay, so then it worked out. Because that was my top deck. I was like, ah, I could have done that before I removed the, uh, the oh, wings. Yeah, but I'll just pay to recast it past okay. the turn. Okay. <laughs> Mild uh, extra turn spell, kind of. I'll play uh, Swamp. And then, um, I can pay, um, one, two mana. I'll play a Blade of the Oni. And then I'll pay four, and I'll equip the Blade of the Oni to Nashi. So she's just a 5-5 five, five now with Menace. Ooh. And, um, what I'm gonna do is go to combat. 
and I'll attack with Nashi. No blocks. Okay. So we exile. Two, three, four, five. Skull collector. Five. It is a generous gift. <laughs> um, I will use the generous gift. I could lose three life, right? Yep. And I will target... See, I can do the really mean play and destroy your arcane signet right now. Whatever you gotta do. <laughs> it is exiled. I mean... I think what I'm actually gonna do here is just pay the three mana and just uh, cast the Skull Collector that I drew into over here. Okay. So I'm gonna lose one, two, three life. I'll get a Skull Collector. So at the beginning of my upkeep, I have to return a black creature I control uh, to my hand. And uh, then I'll pass it. But... Okay. And I'm not drawing what I need to. That was like me the other day. <laughs> Remember, new players in that situation, guys, if you really want to win, you would have used that to destroy the Arcane Signet here so that he has less mana to use. Definitely. I'm going to pay two, three. We're going to... Yeah, two, three. We're going to play a Loyal Drake. At the beginning of my combat, if I control my commander, I draw a card. Mm -hmm. And I'll I'll pass back. Okay. I'll untap. On the trigger of the skull collector during my upkeep, um, I'm just gonna return itself back to my hand. Okay. I'll draw the turn. This one. Pay five. I play an author of shadows. So when this enters the battlefield, I exile all the cards from all opponents' graveyards. And then um, I can uh, cast them and I can spend mana as though were mana of any color to cast that spell. So what do you have? I had a disenchant and a sword's plowshares in my graveyard. Just I uh, choose a non-land card, so I'm gonna choose the sorts of plowshares. Okay. So I can cast that whenever I want. Alright. Um and then I'm gonna go to combat and then uh, I'll attack you with Nash again, Menace. Uh, oh menace, yeah, I can't do anything. So we exile One, two, three, four, five. Okay. This is Mortarian. Oh. Ornithopter of Paradise? Ornith- yeah. Um, I think uh, I'm just gonna choose to pay six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll cast Mortarian. So at the beginning of my end step, I can pay X. If I do, I create X, two, two tokens with Menace. X can't be greater than the amount of life that I lost this turn. So I've lost six life this turn so far. So, uh, we do that. Uh, but I'm gonna go to my end step, and I'll just. How much life do you have? 25? 25. 13, Commander. I'll just keep it. Create X, Q2, Black, Astartes, Warrior, Creature Tokens with Menace. So I'll lose three life. No, I'll go to five. We'll, we'll go down to 
24. And then I'll make five tutus. With menace. And then you can go. Fun, okay. <laughs> Not terrified. <laughs> They're gonna be these black tokens right here. I'm gonna put five dice right here like that. Sure. I'll pay two, play a Thought Vessel. Bro, I'm you going... won the first game we, we played the other days. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't block mostly, so I'm just gonna hit you for three. Um, in the I, air. Just so you know, like, Mortarian's a flying 5-6. Oh, he is, yeah. yeah. I'll pass. <laughs> I mean, how much mana damage do you have right now? Thir Thirteen. Okay. I'll draw. I'll play a swamp. Um, I mean, if I look at my hand here, I mean, I'll play a Tallyman of Merkle. And for new players, like in this situation right here, I technically shouldn't play anything because my board state is already very threatening. Um, so playing anything here just puts me in a position where my board state can get destroyed. And then, you know what I mean, Ed? Yeah, no, exactly. So like, um, it may not be the smart thing to do, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. I'll replay that tally mid Nurgle, and then I'll go to combat and I'll attack you with Nashi and Mortarian. And the five dudes with two twos with menace. All right. In response to attacks, which is a perfect learning moment. <laughs> yes. To your viewers, and why you should never try to overextend. You gonna anthrize or something? No, it's not gonna be that impactful, but okay. just to show a bit of interaction. I'm gonna tap for two, three. I'm gonna cast Polymorph's Jest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Until end of turn, yeah, lose all abilities and all your creatures become base power one one frogs. Okay, so uh, I'm assuming you're going to block something. I'm going to... So, Nashi still has Menace because it's from the equipment. That's um, true. But all of these tokens lose Menace, and then Mortarian yeah. is a one. Yeah. yeah. I think I'll just have to block the Mortarian. Yeah, that's a good play. While it's out. The so Mortarian will die. Is... And so that's just six creatures so that'd be six damage actually no because the blade of the oni has base power of five five so would that affect the um that because loses all abilities and becomes a blue frog with base power so this is just a blue frog equipped with this equipment you know what i mean yeah so because of this he would stay uh Five, yeah, five I with menace. it's just a one one. I believe so. Yeah, five, five <laughs> with menace, technically. yep. So then that's still five, but then, um, it's uh, mm -hmm. just five damage here. So. Cool. It's and they still take, they still take the five commander. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. I'm up to 18. And so, then, so I'm taking 10, or how much damage am I taking? Um, all together. Ten. Ten, okay. Yeah, so... And then before my... end step, I'll pay three, and I'll cast a Skull Collector. Here, my second main phase. I can pay two mana to regenerate him. Um, and then I will go to my end step. Um, that's gonna trigger the Talonment of Nurgle. Which uh, actually no, because all attacking creatures or all creatures I control become frogs. Uh, all creatures target player controls. Okay, so then yeah, it's not gonna trigger. You can go. Cool. Well, if I'm gonna die, at least want to die saying I cast in my commander once. Half for five. <laughs> we bring out Ojitai. No, I kind of need a blocker for that menace that your uh, command commander has. 
I'll pass. Alright, your end step. Um, I'm gonna pay one and pass the source of flash shares. Uh, he has hexproof as long as he's untapped. And then I'll source the flash shares. Yep. <laughs> I'll, I'll gain two life. Did you draw a card from your uh, uh, Drake? Oh, thank you. I forgot about that trigger. Yep. Still Hopefully. no responses. I'm tapped out, so. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> then I'll just untap and attack. Yep, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> that was a game. Yeah, that was a good game.